If you're a horse owner, chances are you already know that horses are a challenge to take care of. And in order to help with those endeavors, I spoke with an extension agent who is very knowledgeable on proper care of horses and learned real quick that proper care of equine starts with understanding their digestive system. A horse's digestive system is very, very different than a ruminant's, which is going to include our cattle and our sheep and our goats. Um, so they're in a way much more similar to humans, but because of the way their digestive system is designed, they don't deal well with things like molds and mycotoxins and, and other issues that aren't as big of a deal in our, in our cattle. Um, so if you're feeding hay, you want to make sure that you do have a nutrient analysis for that and those are available through your local county extension office as well as your several private firms that will do analysis on your hay. This time of year, when you're feeding hay, horses can colic. To help prevent this, there are a couple of things that horse owners can do. The main thing is making sure they have access to clean, fresh water. The other is exercise. I think exercise is, is important and whether that exercise is access to a pasture where they can stretch their legs or whether it's regular riding, um, exercise is, is another one of those things that's going to help prevent colic um, because it's going to keep everything moving. Uh, it's going to keep everything moving in the digestive, the digestive system. You're going to have increased blood flow. Chances are you'll have to supplement some feed due to lack of forage this time of year. Lucy Ray gave some pointers when shopping for feed. There's so many people that read a, a, a feed tag and they say, okay, my horse is in moderate work because they ride like three times a week, which gotcha. is great. Yeah. Um, but then the nutritional, the National Research Council's definition of moderate work is being ridden two to three hours a day. Um, whereas heavy work is gonna be your ranch horses and your endurance horses. So it's really important to know what the definitions of light, moderate, and heavy work are before you base your animal's feeding program off of that recommendation on the feed tag. Before picking feed, it's also a good idea to do a physical check of your horse, looking them over from time to time to help you decide what kind of diet they need to be consuming. When you're figuring out what to feed your horse, or it's very important to talk about body condition scoring. So body condition scoring is a system in which numbers from one to nine are used to basically score how heavy or how overweight or underweight a horse is. Um, one would be obscenely, obscenely thin um, and nine would be obscenely obese in this system. So it's very important to evaluate your horses because there can be just as many uh, medical problems that are associated with, a, with an animal that is overweight and obese as there can be with one that is underweight and underfed. Reporting in Madison for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.